Okay, hopefully that's working now. Uh, sorry, the internet's a little sketchy out here. Uh, so what we're working on now, um, turns out that the valve guide is broken as well on that uh, that particular one that the that it dropped the valve. Um, once I pulled it out, it fell apart in two pieces. So we already ran down to Joe's place today down in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, it was about a two hour drive or so. Um, took a little bit longer, there was some traffic. And uh, he gave us uh, the other parts we needed. I wanted to replace the bridge and he had a head gasket set for it. So we got that from him. And then we got back here and then that's when I noticed that the valve uh, guide was broken as well. So he's gonna come up here and do that. Meanwhile, he saw the video and noticed that the uh, protrusion for the fuel injectors was not the same on them. So the depth that the fuel injector comes through the head. And once I started looking at it, um, some of them were flush, some of them were recessed. Uh, we didn't actually take a measurement of them yet, but they're definitely all over the place. And there's a specific setting that that should have been. So the machine shop, they put all new injector cups, they did everything to it. So it was supposed to be done right and it wasn't and uh, I, I don't know any of that machining stuff i i don't have any of the tools to do any of that stuff in the head so i just send that out to them um i'll try to give you a shot here of the broken uh the the valve guide hopefully this won't drop off if i walk in the shop here i don't know if you can see come on back there it is sorry about that yeah i'm not gonna be able to do it from in the shop Sorry, this is my first time trying this too. Uh, give me a second to find the... Is it in that tray? This is an intermission. <laughs> I don't know where I stuck it at. I was gonna try, I'll try it one more time and if we lose it, but... Um... Yeah, sorry, I don't know where it's at. But anyways, it, it broke off. It just clean broke off on there. Um, yeah, I don't, sorry, I don't see where it's at. Uh, so anyways, he's going to come and he's going to redo the, um, the protrusions for the, all the injectors. We pulled all the injectors out of it. And then, uh, he's going to put a new, uh, valve guide in it. And when you put a new valve guide, you have to do the valve seat. Cause if it's not the right, uh, Concentric. yeah, it's not centered in there. Um, so basically stuff the machine shop should have done. He's going he's gonna to do a little bit better. And he's got the tools, so he's going to come up here and do that for us, which is amazing. Um, and he actually gave me the valve, uh, the head gasket set and all that stuff today, too. So that was pretty remarkable. Um, and a couple other little parts that we needed. So anyways, it's, it's coming along, and it's going to be a, a long night. Um, he's still probably two hours away, and it's already like eight. 30, 9 o'clock here, something. Yeah, 8 o'clock maybe. I, I lost track. It's been such a long day. We got up first thing this morning and then drove down there and just getting everything cleaned up and, and, and fixed on there. Uh, everything's pretty well clean, ready to go. The mating surface is ready, but we just got some more head work to do. I don't want to just put it on, you know, half, half ass and then have it, you know, fall apart again. We have examined all the other keepers. There was just those two keepers, two different ones that were bad. Um, Everything else, yeah, there's a gap in every single one of them. There are two different styles, but they're all, you know, some of them are, um, that, that copper color, they're not really copper. That, that is still a heat treated steel, but it's some kind of a coating on it or something. Um, so yeah, we, we really got lucky, I, you know, to, for me to shut it down right away. And, uh, you know, I know, I know the, how the bus acts. And as soon as I saw a puff of smoke come when I started it, I was like, that's not right. But at first I thought it was just maybe my blower seals were leaking. Um, and it sounded different, but it sounded different because I just put friggin' tailpipes on it that I didn't have. So I just thought that was uh, what it was. And uh, those tailpipes pipes aren't staying on there, but I just, for Burning Man, there's so much dust out there, I couldn't have the exhaust blowing straight down. It would just create too much of a dust cloud and everything around me. Um, and I didn't want to spend any money on the exhaust because the whole exhaust is going to get torn out and redone when I go to a turbo. So it was just throwing money away to, to do that on the exhaust. But I needed, I needed to put those on there, and they gave me a deal. I was, I was like 50 bucks for all that stuff, uh, for the, the two pipes and the bends and everything. Oh, Kelly found it. So this is what broke off. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the valve guide. Um, with, it has the seal on it, too. It was on the end. 
uh, and it just snapped right off of there. And and the valve is bent really high up on the. Yeah. So you can see that the bend is up here too. It's obviously bent at the, at the valve part too. It's two bends in it, but there's a bend really high up on the on the stem there. And that's probably that bend right there is probably what snapped off. Uh, would be my guess. Or did that happen first? Maybe they cracked it when they installed it, and then that let it get a little bit wonky in there, and that maybe that's what made everything go south. I I don't know. I, I who knows. Uh, obviously, I'm not real happy. I, I I can't say for sure that the machine shop did something other than the valve protrusions or the injector protrusions are not the same, um, and that's something I guess they should have known to do. I, I wouldn't have had any reason to check that. I didn't even put the injectors in until after the head's in. But now that I know that that's something to pay attention to, uh, you know, you, you have, I guess I had blind faith in everything that they were doing that, you know, they were supposed to do everything on that head. Obviously when I got it back, you know, there was issues, things that weren't done right and stuff. So, but I'm not, I'm not mad. Um, it's, I, I, I forgot what I said yesterday. I, I did say a cuss word. I dropped you the F-bomb. You said it may throw up. Yeah. And then I said, I, whatever, yeah. Is it? I can't effing believe it. I can't effing believe it. I think I'm going to throw up. That was what I said. <laughs> Only the effing was the real word. <laughs> but that was it. That was the one cuss word. And, and I'm like, okay, let's just take it apart and see what happens and, and go from there. Um, so it happened at a great place. Scott has been extremely helpful, you know, running me down to Eugene and all that today. Um, and then bringing it into the shop and everything. That, that was pretty amazing. Uh, Joe's been and, and Joe too. God, Joe, uh, Wealth and knowledge. Uh, he's been a Detroit mechanic for I don't know how long. I don't want to. His whole life. His been. his whole life, and he's 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 a, he's a good guy. <laughs> and he's coming to. Help yeah, and he's and he's coming down here to help us. Um, we could have went up there, um, down. and we'd had to, up down there. Sorry, yeah, it's, <laughs> the, it's the wrong way. So, anyways, uh, I'll keep you updated as things go. It's going to be a long night. Um, I wish the internet worked better in in the shop, but unfortunately, I can't do that for you. But. Uh, we're here in Oregon City area and uh, we're, we're working. We got to run to the auto parts store. We're gonna need some more cans of brake clean and stuff like that, run, run a little low on some. Oh, we might've missed our opportunity for that. Yeah, we might have to go now. Matter of fact, I should probably get off of this thing and go do that. So, hey, th thanks for all your comments and support. I really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, we'll keep you updated on everything. So, wish us luck. Thank you.